Um, anyways, last thing for tonight. Uh, this is the last comfy ween that you will be on milk, I assume, unless you come on uh, this weekend. Nope. Or, you know, okay, well, there you go. So I've been saving this. Uh, I've been saving this so we can all watch it. Nice. I mean, all of us, but sp specifically you, me, Mr. Blue, and Prophet will appreciate this. It's about Jacob P. Tomorrow. No. Now, stay no. tuned for a WMUR TV no. special presentation. No. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought this was about a certain festival. <laughs> no. no. Get a fucking oh, coverage of. No. <laughs> It's like, it's the 1994 Pumpkin Festival. Yeah. Empty dead. Whoa. Hello and welcome to New Hampshire's Unsolved Mysteries. We have wow. three stories tonight, each strikingly different. I think this only lasts one episode. Where, they are all where is all the fentanyl? There is yeah. no right answer to what <laughs> yeah, where did it all go? There's a ton of WMUR recordings <laughs> on uh, the Internet Archive. First, we look to the skies and perhaps... See, this is right right north of us. This is right time. north of Chicopee. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> a ton of fentanyl missing UFOs. from the fucking hospital. I thought that's what you were going to say. He's met these space travelers face to face. Benny and Barney Hill, the first ever abduction happened in New Hampshire. We have something floating yep. over there. Oh, yeah? I say floating. That's what it appeared to, but it was flying. And we're talking something much larger than a Boeing 747. God, they sound. sound. They're act. No one has been able to show any sure. evidence sure. that there have actually been visitors. Sure. This is the greatest event in the history of mankind. This is the greatest sure. state out there. <laughs> Yeah, that what was it, it the ninth, UFOs, ninth the state ratified. Is necessarily is yeah, it used to be way cheaper to have. But has anybody out there ever come down here? Popular science will tell you no, but many people say yes. In fact, New Hampshire is the birthplace of modern UFO science. Well, based oh, primarily science. on one woman's science, fascinating dude. story. Live free or fly UFO, dude. Dude, Benny and Barney Hill, Benny and Barney Hill <laughs> said their abductors were Aryans. Blonde-haired Aryans. Oh, that's right. Why hasn't Robert done a video on them? I think he has. Betty Hill is 78 years old and lives in a modest apartment in Portsmouth. Hardly the kind of person you'd boo, Portsmouth, boo. as being the godmother of the modern UFO movement. Her story begins on September 19, 1961. Like an Easterner. She and her husband Barney were traveling through the White oh, Mountains them. after a vacation in Montreal. She says around Franconia Notch, a strange light vacation began the following their car. What the hell happened? On the side road, and the people that he had seen on board the UFO. Oh, and Milk Montreal. got abducted. Yeah. The road directly in front of us. The Hills say they were taken from their car by aliens and led into a spacecraft. They claim they were the subjects of medical experiments. One of them yeah. spoke English. That's a really polite way of work. saying jerk off. And he said they only wanted to do some simple tests. And when the tests were over with, we could go back home. Betty oh, it Hill wasn't bad at all. All he did was take a cunt hair, wipe to me. Skin and bone yeah, structure. Yeah. Oh, when he was done, he used cunt wipe. Unharmed. <laughs> this is nice. The Hills International they were, these kind of they were the subject of a yeah, there's space aid. The there's a kind of like journey. Any kind of that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the twist, that is that was before Hunt Wipes were invented. Called yeah. A common sense she didn't even know what it was until like 30 years later. She spent nearly half her life researching and photographing what she calls alien spacecraft. They're out here circling this planet. What she mistakenly calls. <laughs> and they're building up in numbers, we know that. And I think, that I say, what they're probably coming down here to do their shopping, where they're shopping mall. Aliens behind That's you, dear. Picking up yeah. whatever they need to <laughs> out in space. Hill knows there are many people who simply don't believe her. But they weren't in that car 36 years ago. I recognize, to me, right I'd like now, to kill all those people. Yeah. <laughs> say that to my face. <laughs> It's not a question of getting into a game of calling people liars or anything like that. 
I think many of John Rada Zillowick, but I think that modern hey, culture, Christian McCall, <laughs> fucking hero, sides, golden age of Arabic astronomy, dude, and other ways to interpret some of these stories. Medal of honor Dutch. recipient, Christian McCall, yeah, yeah, getting blown up over the fucking Atlantic, science South Atlantic, and science fiction, or wherever, so Florida, fucking tragedy. Florida. New Hampshire, they still have the. Mankind it's a holiday. Look to the stars oh. and wondered what lies beyond the black. I don't know the if sky. they have the holiday. I Man don't has landed don't on the moon and sent probes <laughs> into space. Christmas holiday. Scientists have no. watched, listened, That's fake. and waited. We would love to believe that someone is going waiting. to come and visit New Hampshire or has come and visited New Hampshire. That would be the greatest story from any in state. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let the beard grow all the way down, dude. So it many weird stories when you're that about fat. UFO sightings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shame like that. Many have long blamed the military for testing covert aircraft and not telling the public. It's New Hampshire sure. does have an Air Force satellite tracking station in New Boston and an air base. There's a New the Boston. All we yeah, do is track satellites. We don't Call have it worse, air. Boston. Yeah, dude, look at that patch. That, that that yeah, that's a spooky patch. patch. Look at that yeah. Patch. Yeah, you're meaning to tell me you're not up to anything shady when you have the Grim Reaper looking over the earth? <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> not. Stop looking. Come on, what does that mean? doesn't stop other stories of contact from being reported. Take, for example, the case of Bob DePuy. Job, WMEI. You got the worst photos. Two-year-old Sanborn man oh, I can't was unloading his truck. When yeah. he saw several it's coming back for my fucking plumbing job. The tree line. Yeah, it was my a long day. Say, my God, look at the size of that PVC thing. pipe all day long. I said, Mike, I said it's bigger. It's as big as a football field. Despite its size, Deputat says. Mike says you don't know the size of a football yeah. field. He said, I said it looked almost. I like said a it's as ship. big as a brown thing with shoelaces down. through it. Field. You could see that it was a trap <laughs> with the lights under it. And it had these peculiar lights that came out in a, a three-type pod. And it looked like lights with... The, and and lights. Mike says to me, he says, how many and buds he had? And I said, and none, Mike. With white all around it. You've been with me all day. We had yeah, yeah. About, about, about a dozen cores light. Sightings. Yeah, it cores. I've been drinking cores all day. Of what he <sighs> says he saw. Deputat also points to this picture. Taken New Year's Day, 1997, during a fireworks display. He says yep. it shows a craft silhouetted by the explosion. No. Look at uh, some players. Yeah, I don't description. think that's a craft. Yeah. He saw uh, a craft that would Several just fly into a firework. I've yep. seen something yeah. that was so large, and it was no like sound. 60 feet in I there. definitely saw advanced technology. Okay. All I can say and is that if I uh, unselling milk has something else to say, well, he knows where I live, and he come to my door. I'll be there. I'll be there. Every I'll fight you and Mike. <laughs> Every single one of these people <laughs> just like ends with it. They don't believe me. They don't want to. <laughs> yeah, this is my house. They can come here and tell me that. Yeah. Put my address on there. I don't care. I ain't afraid. Forever. Fucking Joker? You think I'm afraid to get sued by him? Fucking go for it. They want to be proved wrong. After all, it can't go after my plumbing business. Of all time. He's like, nope, that's an LLC. He cannot touch that. Yep. Find Pink Floyd. The trick is, I got it in Benny Mike's Hill name, so if he chews me, he's got nothing. Betty was on the lecture circuit for several years where she talked about her experience to audiences all over the globe. Still, she says UFOs are. Just What's up with, like, the sides, like, floating up around? Next, a pregnant woman is murdered in her own home. Oh, well, that's a tonal <laughs> shift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. Do you think it maybe started with that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she had everything in the world going for her at the time. It and shows the guy the, again, the, 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 the plumber guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't happen in Dublin. Like, you know, I, 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 I know say it was the last one who saw. Well, but I'll tell you what. Yep. <laughs> I was gonna say no one looked in the mic. Bank of New Hampshire, a tradition. Oh yeah, this is walk too. Simply free checking by Groland Communications. When it comes to high quality, low priced computers. Oh, yeah. What's the over under on this place still being? By color time, rent was right no. for you. No. And by Camelot yeah, Home just Center, no. <laughs> owning a home is made easy and affordable. Christ, they got one in Charlestown. Welcome this weekend at your. You don't want to live there. Oh, I love the local Find commercials. Play of the nicest homes around. 
Unless you want to go to fort number four, dude. With a fireplace, a jacuzzi, two and a half bath, a nice laundry room, wood. a spacious Good dining room, and a beautiful kitchen. If you like what you see, let look at the, the fucking carpet. Show you low, very low 90s prices. looking Arrange a land room. deal for you and get yeah, easy looks, financing through our farm. Yeah, I could, that looks like <laughs> our grandparents. <laughs> yeah, it does. Kidlot Home Centers are open 9 to 6, Monday through Saturday, and 10 to 5 on Sundays. In Charlestown again? Jesus well, Christ, Charlestown used to be an epicenter? We did a lot of comparison shopping. Well, yeah, you get your computer there. Really just <laughs> was able you to get your goal in there? And, you uh, get your growl in there. That's downtown <laughs> Charlestown, New Hampshire, by the way. Oh, I heard I, 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 I ended up, uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I ended up, uh, working with a guy from Charlestown, like, randomly, like, down here. Uh, oh, no, it was just like 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 we're working like on a set. He's like the lighting guy. From Bank of New Hampshire. I don't know what we were talking. We ended up talking about. I mean, that's like what's like four. That's right. Right. Yeah. Talking about No monthly service charge. Good. And no transaction limits. Very good. Oh, I know Charlestown. Simply Dude, Bank of New Hampshire. Yep. Marriage of Bank of America. And free. You How does that make any sense, friendly. dude? Look gone. It's fucking gone, this is dude. Mr. Jordan's Sony big screen TV. Oh hell yeah. Phil Jordan's. Oh. <laughs> Phil Jordan's gonna kill oh. himself. <laughs> this is Mr. Yeah. Aikman's Techwood CD stereo sound system. His salary's thirty six thousand dollars. Was it like ninety grand back then? Yeah, like what? <laughs> this is Miss World's state of the art home video system. Mia Worlds. Phil what? Frank and Mia are proof you don't have to be a jillionaire. How would she be a private the in the home? army? You just have to know where to rent them. Rest in peace, color time. Yeah. <laughs> there is nothing more painful for a parent than the death of a child. And that pain is magnified this is when such a total murder. When 23-year-old Michelle Lafond was killed in 1987, police felt... Dude, I'm surprised there's no commercials for the fucking now, socks. Dude. 11 years yep. later... It's well, what year was it? Because they were probably getting their terrible. ass kicked. Yeah, probably terrible. <laughs> like, yeah. Poor Pedro got there in 99. Michelle I think it was 98. Yeah, dude, 98 was a bad year she for She was married sucks. to her husband, Gary, for five years. They were expecting he did their it. first child, a son. Michelle was studying to be a paralegal. Her life. Uh, I was going to say, a nursing assistant. Beginning. Studying to be a social media influencer. Sad. <laughs> Isn't this the same lady that we saw in the beginning? Very energetic. They just changed her name. Looking for the good things Barbara Buckley. And wasn't afraid to go out yep. Barbara. and work for them. They live in a, in a farmhouse and, and very quiet. Uh, farmhouse in West Milan. And got a good property there. Yeah, got a good property with for signs up, no trespassing. And yep. What seemed like an ordinary day in, in the life of Michelle Lafond, something went drastically wrong. Um, somewhere between the hours of six and noon. Yeah, her old man Michelle just went crazy and stabbed and her murdered, to death. Strangled and brutalized. Gary Did they actually found have they since solved when he solved came it? Home for lunch. Probably not. He called and called the name. Oh yeah, that's a fine New England house right there. Uh, yep. Looking around for her, uh, finally found her uh, in the bathroom in the bathtub. Obviously, um, it appeared to him uh, at the time that she was dead. He hollers, Ma? Because she had stab Michelle's wounds dead. all over her. And I said, what do you mean Michelle's dead? She says she's dead. Are you I said, fucking well, deaf? What do you mean? I said, how do you know she's dead? He said, because she's all She's blue. right there. She's on the floor. I she's got knife wounds on her. And was just putting laundry in. Jesus in Christ, Ma. Ring. Christ's sake, and Ma, open your eyes. His daughter-in-law called and said, Barb, Mick needs you now to get over here as fast oh. as you can. And, and like, what's going on? What happened? That's another and WMU said, episode of Gays in New so Hampshire? Yeah. Question mark. Yeah. up this driveway on March 4th, 1987. There's a lot we don't know, but there are some things we do know. For example, it seemed like a typical morning. Police say Gary LaFond left for work between 5.30 and quarter of 6, and that his wife, That's Michelle, Mike. was getting ready to go to school. Police had several strong leads and looked Dublin. heavily at one particular Dublin. suspect. Dublin, Jesus. But there was not enough evidence to bring charges. The case grew cold. Theories well, of a Dublin. In this case. That's a... Different theories. We know that 
There was no Is that Manadnock? Dude, axes are so fucking high in Dublin. There appears to be. They got a big private school up there. Although the house was not. I know. In shambles, but it certainly things had been moved. You got three police officers. We know that. Dude, you know, you go, you go faster than 30 miles an hour downtown Dublin. You're getting, you're getting your ass pulled over. Yep, be done. What else are they, the police there gonna do? They don't fucking play around in Dublin. Was tipped over. Michelle and her killer went from the first to the Dublin, second floor. Dublin, 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 New Hampshire. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Dublin, New Hampshire has. They got a store there that sells sells the best pulled pork I've ever had in my life. It's pretty good. It's pretty fucking good. They give you a whole. It's a stop along the way. You go from Chicopee, you want to go to the fucking big city, Nashua, New Hampshire. That's you go through Dublin. Get the pulled pork at the Dublin General you pick Store. It so <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> so out of the way. So out of the way. It, it's a one lane or you know or two lane highway the entire entire time. Yep. Not pay the no, toll no, at the roundabout. No passing zone. Continue on. With her killer and probably let him in. Hill and they believe yeah. he was Can't get nowhere fast. He took his time. Yeah. Go slow around that Police lake. Also analyze yes. the DNA yes. from the go faster. If you go more than 30 they miles an hour around Dublin Lake, you get pulled over. Suspects, <laughs> but it failed to positively identify I'm serious, the murderer. Well. Two I limits 20. I didn't get to. I stop. I talk to him all the time. Tell him what's going on. Pulls oh, over. Is there a way you can get to Boston off yeah, of this road, Amber lady? Still carries the pain. She's like, no, it's like 80 miles know. south. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Like... <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm crazy. That cemetery looks very familiar. I think it's the yeah. one by the by the lake, brother. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not that one. I put, I th no. I probably, I probably no. put flags. I, I probably put flags out in that cemetery when I was a kid. What might have been. My grandfather. She uh, used to put flags out. Life would be like today. How many more children she may have had, and she thinks about the grandchild she lost. How tall he'd be and what he'd be doing as he approached his 11th birthday. It bothers me because there's still a family out there. There's a family out there asking why, asking me why, oh, yeah, asking every investigator that has worked on this case since 1987, why? Why Michelle? Every time Dude, I see New Hampshire doesn't have very good detectives to solve this. No. But has it been resolved since? For the answers. And it's just people need. I don't know. Closure. I feel like a, a case. And if the person that did it is out there and yeah, can see this, it's cold, brother. Just open up his heart. Cold like a Dublin winner. That the family is yep. feeling. Like a Dublin woman's kind. Of <laughs> <in a> time. <laughs> if you have any information about the murder of Michelle Lafond, please contact I'll the New call. Hampshire State right. Police. Told Mike Harris did it. At one eight hundred eight five two. Yeah, the aired ones. Three four. Nice. One one. All information. I don't even. I don't doubt that. I don't know if they made any other episodes. This is the Coming only one next, I could find. Have a the New Hampshire State Police tonight. So like, so I watching your unsolved mystery episode. This story. Add in 1998. Oh, of Look. course, Lorraine oh. pops up. Ooh. Yeah. She's all over New England, ain't it? Ain't she? Bradley Talbot the third will explain simply free checking from Bank of New Hampshire. We already saw this one. That's right, Bradley. No minimum balance. Oh, Christ. It's not WMUI. Come back. You probably died well. Have it all. With no credit hassle. Oh, no long-term obligations. Delivered right away. Yeah, showing Come Negroes in the, in the store. Anniversary celebration and see how Those are the only black today. people in New Hampshire back. Look for anniversary deals yeah. throughout yeah, the store. Yeah, fun to say. It's a color time celebration. Winning the color time way. Browsers are welcome this weekend Colored at your Camelot Home way. Centers. Find a huge display of the nicest homes around. See a five bedroom, 84 price, right. from 10 to 5 on the Mario and the commercial. <laughs> He's like, I got this computer I can download porn on. Yeah, porn on. The Bolorama Plaza, Portsmouth. When it comes to high quality, low price computers, Groman's got it. Service wise. Finally tonight, I'd have, I'd have Jim and just for that screen. In a condo in Londonderry with their 12 just for the monitor. Class. They had a typical middle class life, average in I know people in Londonderry. Way. We got friends in Londonderry. The noise. Who, oh, dude? Ooh. Not even gonna, you don't you don't know. To me it's like a sonic boom. Oh, it, it, oh yeah. Um just comes out yep. of nowhere. It's good like friends big, of the show. Big, real big boom. Just saw them friends stop. of the show. Um 
it, it, kind of an earthquake type feeling. It, you know, you just you get the feeling like that the whole building is shaking. The noise are they, in December. Are they, you know, we always say friend of the shows, but are they a friend of the show? They never watch us. <laughs> yeah, but they're, they don't they're know our it. friends. No, I, yeah, know, I know, I know. The show. The banging continued. At first they're it friendly to the show. You know, we were laughing about it. It was like a nervous laugh. We would joke about it um, and say things like... No, I don't think any of our friends watch the show. Like that, you know, no. Get rid of the problem. I wouldn't insult. Uh, they refer to this guy as condo show. renter. So, <laughs> they refer to this guy as condo... You're taking out pieces of sheetrock and you've got to move your son from his bedroom into yours. <laughs> into his bedroom to outside so you can go to sleep. The banging caused yeah, because yep. he's banging on the sheetrock. A television <laughs> fell from it's like I just put dresser. in that sheet rock two months ago. Small fire. Yeah, he's like, I lay, I I lay sheet rock all the time. Things are falling off. It's my job to lay sheet rock. are falling off dressers and... Or to hang it. Don't you, you know, hang sheet next? rock? I mean, is the floor going to cave? This guy's name Mike? The wall's going to fall on us. What's going to, you know, what... No, it's Jim. Yeah, I'm real afraid. The Winger's contract... Jim Winger. He looks like a Mike. The fire though. department, even yeah. a structural engineer. They Middle name's Jim. First name is Mike. Mike Jim Winger. Meanwhile, <laughs> dude, this kid just put a huge crumbling. hole in the drywall. The what the fuck? Yeah, and blamed it on a ghost. I wanted to the fucking I rules. Want the holes to be fixed and for us to go back to normal. Life. Yeah, what? I mean, it's been the, very. The ghost is putting holes in the, in the drywall. Sort of funny and well, they'd figure it out and people said, Jim, dude. Was like, oh, you need a priest or. Came after. It was, it was funny. Just came back from Fenway funny. Park. <laughs> yeah. Watching Mo Vaughn, dude. Mo Vaughn just did a fucking bomb out of Fenway Park. Fucking 1995 ALMB. It's not normal. I don't know what it is. He keeps telling like, that it's not just a game. He hit like 3.30 three three with... Or, I don't even know. I think he only hit like 3.18. 39 home runs, 130 RBIs. I was looking that up the other day. They think it's him. They're so wrong. Our friends won't let their kids visit till it's fixed. Now we're losing friends. What I mean, Mo Vaughn had a couple good years there. My heart pounds fear, stress, anxiety. Good. What can we do? Yeah. Why does no one know? Why does no one care? Call a priest. Can he help? No one knows. No one cares. I'm angry. Oh, that's all right. We got you. Whatever we got you guys to watch this. Problem, be it a spirit yeah. or whatever. I just want to be able to talk Even to it better. and say, go away. Yeah, our friends you know, would probably be weird in that way. Yeah, they'd be, yeah. Somebody fix <laughs> it. You know, yeah. That kind of a thing. I, I don't. I well, friends of the, sh uh, the biggest show. Out of options, yeah, the we're friends of another podcast Warren. called The Biggest For Show, but we don't. We haven't mentioned them in two years. Yeah, our former rivals. No, I'm gonna sound they made it. Today. They had about no. eight episodes. And poltergeist is a German yep. word, which usually means a noisy or mischievous spirit. Warren they were actually the inspiration to finally get the show started, though. All over the yep. globe. She's oh, were they really? One of the top researchers in her field. Yeah, that point. Yeah, I, yeah. I think, think Prophet said, like, if they can do it. <laughs> yeah, that really was something along those lines. Like, wow, this is incredibly boring. <laughs> we could be way more entertaining than this. And in most cases, it is yeah. caused by a child. Well, I didn't even listen to theirs. It was just like, wait, they're doing this? The condo or not? Okay. They placed camera yep. and audio equipment through the upstairs. I Her think the I, I listened to it. The noise continues. No, I listened to it too the afterwards, mystery. but that's not. Remain. I didn't listen to it before. Now it's lost media. Yeah, no I really regret that. That question now is there? Some people just aren't sure. Others say that for every phenomenon, there's some sort of logical explanation. And then there are others who say that the spirits of the dead are all around us. Making me walk out here in the fucking yeah, snowy cemetery. It's cold, but they're not. It's like a foot of snow. Yeah, yeah. He's got the snow in his boots. You know, when you walk in, you get this. They go inside the boot. Yeah, those socks are ruined. Wrong with the trash. Are confused and harmless <laughs> so, souls. They're fine, they're just they're wet, really they throw happy. them in the trash. <laughs> just throw them up they against the wall. They're harm. soaked. Uh, <laughs> <dry wall. laughs> that's how the kid did it. He threw his wet socks. Yeah, no, that's how Jim did it. He goes home, he takes his work boots and just fucking hocks them at the wall because he got he stuck in a big pile of snow. Columnist <laughs> <laughs> Stephen ghost. Winship says New Hampshire is full of ghost stories. They began oh, yeah. as 18th well, and 19th idiots. century legends. Well, now it is. Yeah. To the old superstitions, 
Yeah, all these people are dead. Tales which explain natural phenomena yeah. such as this guy as probably comets, died in like 2002. Severe thunderstorms, uh, dark days when fires cause the sun to be obscured. What? Wouldn't you have even thought he saw yeah. it as a teenager? It turned out to be a what giant is he talking about? Is it a weatherman? Yeah, what? He wrote about it yeah, 98. In his column. He says most of the ghost Pine stories Street. are like that. Strange events. Sounds like a Goosebumps title. Some logical explanation. Saw this fucking spider when you got in into the, the mid 1800s, the whole matter of witchcraft and the devil. It's funny if I had seen this when I was like a little kid, it would have scared the shit out of me. Probably. <laughs> so, oh, there's a spider monster in New Hampshire <laughs> that goes up yeah. to your window. Just as uh, mist is blown away by the wind. The Winger family is looking for anyone who may have a logical explanation. I wonder what they're up to what's today. What's happening to their home? We'll be right back. Fucking property probably got condemned and torn down. He bought a computer from Girl and Ashley because he got a lot of computers from shopping, and the oh, get the he really just couldn't match. God, it's it's literally four commercials. Mr. Rake. Phantom. Solved murder of Michelle Lafon. Please call the New Hampshire State Police. Or your local Michelle Lafon, New Hampshire. Thanks for watching New Hampshire's Unsolved Mysteries. Good night. Lafon, New Hampshire. Oh, oh. Pause. What? John E. Brewer, charged with first degree murder and the death of a Dublin, New Hampshire woman 12 years ago, this is from 1999, is oh, prepared so to yeah, plead yeah. guilty. After that fucking thing there, he must have confessed to it. <laughs> that, yeah. How funny would that be? Oh my god, he just feels so much guilt from watching WMUR's New Hampshire's Unsolved Mystery.